Similar to the last two lessons, for which I'm going to put a link in the description, we're going to take some ugly looking data and transform it into a nice infographic chart. So as you can see in the first lesson, we did this chart, which is interactive. In the second one, we did this other chart. Now what we're going to do is this kind of chart, which has icons and they'll fill based on the percentage you select. So if I go to my data set and change this 67% to 45%, for example, you can see that this will automatically update. So let's start. First of all, we have our data. So what we're going to do is go to view, remove the grid lines, and then the sheet will breathe a little bit. Next, we're going to do a total here. We're going to put 100%. Why am I doing this? Because if you see here, my 100% will be my unfilled one, and then the 67% will be the filling. Next, I need to insert a normal bar chart. As simple as it is. I select my data. I go here. I click. I can select a normal bar chart and I get it. I need to format this bar chart a little bit. So we click on the elements we don't want and then we press delete on the keyboard. So I don't want the legend. I don't want those grid lines. I don't want the title. And that's it for now. Next, this. I go to home after clicking on it. I do bold. Then I increase the font to make it nicer. And if you see this gray line, I also want to fix it. So I right click on it. I do format axis and then I go to the bucket and then I select the color of the line. I can select this blue. And there you go. The next problem is the axis. It goes up to 120. I don't want this. So I click on it, right click, format axis. This will open. In case it's open, you just click on it and then you go to those three bars. You put zero here, enter. You get this reset button, which means that this is entered manually. And here you put one, enter. It's entered manually. The next thing I need to do is, after removing this percentage axis, is to have this in front of this bar. To do this, I just select this bar and I get here series overlap. So series overlap, I'm going to do it 100%. If you see, my other bar is behind this. To get it in front, I'm going to right click, do select data. Here is my percentage. I click on this arrow down and then it becomes in front, which is great. Then the magic part comes. So I need the icons. So I go to insert. I go to illustrations icon. And then here I have so many of them. I can type people. And here I have some people icon. So this is the women and then this is the man. I do insert and they are here. So I move the man here, then the woman here. Then I need to make them bigger. So I click on the first one, then I press control. I keep control pressed. I select the second one. Then I remove my hand from control and then I make them bigger. So now they are bigger. We can just move this one here. And then we are fine. We're going to make a copy of them. So Control C, Control V. And to select them, it's the same thing. You keep Control pressed and you select both of them. So those will be the empty ones. Those will be the filled ones. So for the empty ones, if I click on both of them, again, keep Control pressed, select both of them. Graphic format, you want fill, it's blank. And then outline is black. So I click on this. I have this. And now I'm going to do the opposite for those two. So I select the man first. Graphic format. Fill. I'm going to use this blue. And then outline. I don't have an outline. So I'm fine. I select the woman. Then I can select, for example, this color. And then I have the filled ones. Next, we need to copy paste them here. So very simple. We start, this is the man, we select it, Control c we select this one, make sure you click two times on this, because now when I clicked one time, it selected this and this, and I only want to select this. So I click another time, you can see that this is unselected, I do Control v So this is the man. The man that is empty, I'm going to do the same thing, Control c 
I click, I click another time so this is not selected. Control V. Same for the women. So Control C two times, Control V, Control C two times, Control V. So the problem you can see is that this is too small compared to this. So to fix this, we're going to select the small icon, only the woman. So you click on it two times. You go to the bucket and you have something called stack and scale with. You click, as you can see, it is fixed. We're going to do the same thing for the man. So we click on it two times, stack and scale with. And as you can see, I have filled it. Now the next problem I have is that those are too thin. So I can select anything here. I go to my bars and I have gap width. If you do this, you put it to zero, then it will fill the whole place. And you can see that the two icons are now looking normal. Then you have this border that I don't like. So in order to remove this border, you just click on it and you have no line for border. The only thing that is left is the percentages, right? So to fix those percentages, we need to have them here. If I select this one, for example, this series, if you see here, and I go plus, I do data labels, the problem here is I get 100%. If I'm going to select those, the problem is I'm going to get the right number, 67 and 33, but they won't be at the same height. Now, luckily for us, there is a trick. So if you select the big ones and you put the data labels like I've done, you can select those data labels. You go here under the bars and you can do values from cells. So here you can select the values from the cells. So I'm going to just select these two, these two values. I'm going to say OK. And as you can see, I have 67 and 33. This 100% is here. So I'm going to remove it and then I'm fine. I keep them clicked. I go here under home. I make them a bit bigger. Bold. And then I can change my font. I can select Aharoni. So they look a little bit nicer. We can even make them bigger. And there you go. Then I don't need this. So I can just remove them. I can also hide this if I want to. So I make the font white. And now here, if I come and change, for example, the data, 67% that you can see here, I can do it 34%. You can see that it works. Next is just to do a bit of formatting. So we're just going to select this, do some borders, and then we can just again select it and do view, page break view. You can see that we get this. We can do this and then fix it a little bit. And then we can fix it from this side. And there you go.